As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. Huh? What the? Ah! Beat it, punk. The guy she saw. Asshole! I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um. No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own, especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait, how'd you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki-sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki Sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. Hey, you think this is your personal jail, Yagami? What makes you think you can keep bringing captives here? Well, it's the safest spot we know. Doesn't it feel good to be such a reliable friend? Yeah, Higashi, be cool. We won't be around long. Be cool. You think time's the issue? This is about respect, man. What's your call? We kicking him out? Oh, quick bit of news, Higashi-san. Kaito-san got shanked in Yokohama. What? What the fuck? Kaito Aniki? By who? You'll know once we're done explaining. Let me introduce you to Mamiya-san first. She called up her friends to come after us just a little bit ago. Yeah, and I'd do it again. I don't give a shit about that! What happened to Aniki? You better have paid him back already, Yagami. <sighs> Fuck those RK assholes! And how could Aniki have let him get to him like that? Now that Higashi-san's up to speed, should we get to it? I imagine Mamiya-san doesn't want to drag this out. What do you intend to do with me? First, you'll tell us everything you know. We'll decide how to deal with you afterward. <sighs> then let's get this over with. What do you want to know? Let's start with the video. Any thoughts you'd care to share? I found it on a flash drive in Kitakata Sensei's room. Or should I say, Kawana's. I take it that means he's the one who recorded it. Yes. That means Kawana already knew back then the rest of you were bullies too? Yes. If that's the case, then why was Shinya Kawai the only student thrown under the bus for it? Kawana-san didn't show that tape to anyone else? We had no idea we were even being taped. We didn't find out about the video, or the reason he sat on it so long until way after graduating. Why exactly did he sit on it for so long? Kitakata-sensei said he kept it so... so he could teach us for the rest of our lives. What? If that video came out at the time of the incident, 
I'm sure life would have been hard for us then. After all, Kawhi was exposed online, and that would mean millions of yen in compensation for damages. Yeah, but you guys could have wound up in the same boat. No. I mostly would have come across as dumb kids he roped into helping him. We might have caught some flack, but people would chalk it up to kids and their cliques and move on. But that's only how I would have gone if it had come out while we were still teenagers. You're saying circumstances are different now? I have a child now. A husband, an upscale apartment. If the world sees that tape now, I'll lose it all. And what do you think would happen to my son? The son of a woman who drove a kid to attempt suicide? His life would be ruined. That recording is more than kids being cruel. Mitsuru jumped from the school roof that very night and is still in a coma today. I get it. You have that much more to lose now than when you were a kid. Same for all my classmates. Kurokawa Academy is a prestigious school, after all. Most graduates go off to great universities and land high-paying jobs. One started his own company, others have families. And they're all in your position too, huh? If that video gets out, they lose everything. Exactly. Do you get it now? He waited for all of us to get what we wanted in life. Just so he could threaten to take it all away. And when that time came, he started contacting us. Every student you see in that video. When was the first time Kawana approached you? Five years ago. I was out on a walk with my son. When he came strolling up out of the blue. At first, I barely recognized him. His eyes were so hollow. Then without so much as a word, he took out his phone and played that video. He's a psychopath. Well, all you kids tormenting Mitsuru looked pretty psychopathic to me. Oh, and you're so perfect. An angel who never once acted out of line, never lashed out at someone weaker than you, or sided with the group to shut someone out. Everyone does it. We were just lucky enough to have some creep tape us, picking on some kid who couldn't take it. Why does this have to happen to me? I'd say it's because bad things happen to bad people. You'll sling your barbs from a safe distance, but once you're on the other side of it, you curl up and play victim. Oh. <laughs> you said it was five years ago that Kuana showed you the video? Reminds me of something Shirosaki-sensei was looking into. What? There was this guy. I think his name was Shinya Kawai. Something about him getting snatched off the streets about five years back. <gasps> then it was you guys. You're the ones who abducted him in Kamrocho and murdered him. No, it wasn't us. We could never do something like that. Wasn't us, huh? So you're not denying he was murdered after all? Who was it then? All Sensei told us was to find Kawhi somewhere in Kamurocho, then bring him back with us, no matter what it took. Did Kawana tell you what he wanted with him? He needs to be there when you all beg for forgiveness. That's all he said. And if we refused, he'd leak the video. So we all went to see Kawhi, but he wanted nothing to do with Sensei. Considering he'd cost him everything, that came as no surprise. But doing nothing would cost the rest of you everything, too. Yes. So we had to force him into our van. After he put up a fight. Yeah, that lines up with what the local eyewitnesses said. So then what happened? Nobody's heard from the guy since. As I was watching it the first time, another message came in. This time, a picture. What the hell? Murder who, exactly? Any bullies involved in suicides. That's who Sensei's got it in for. Anyone he could find across the country. He doesn't even care how old the case is. If a student commits suicide, and bullying is suspected as the cause, he'll turn up. As far as I know, 
counting Kawhi, I think. I think he's killed at least seven people. Anyone who drives someone to suicide must always face justice. Until society comes to terms with this, he says we'll keep getting our hands dirty. That way, we might be able to save the next few Mitsurus before it's too late for them. Not sure I should say this out loud, but I'm kind of rooting for this guy now. Mm, yeah, let's not. Not just me. Grabbing Mikoshiba required a good number of people. All the people who pinned Ehara down. And even the ones who filmed it, they were working for Sensei. But the one thing we can't ever do is turn him down. If we do, he'll send his video of us abducting Kawhi to the police. And then Kawhi's body will turn up with our fingerprints all over his corpse. And we know that because... He's hidden Kawhi's corpse in a freezer somewhere. He's preserving one of his murder victims? So as long as he has that, you're wrapped around his finger. What? There are these scumbags chasing down Kawana called RK. What part did they play? Strangely enough, they never came up once during your confession. The suicide at Serio High. You must be talking about Toshiro Ehara. From Yokochan's perspective, she and Sensei were both just teachers dealing with students attempting suicide. I think that's why she let a guard down and told them everything. After learning the truth, Sensei believed Mikoshiba needed to be held accountable. So if Sawa Sensei hadn't talked to him, Ahara wouldn't have gotten involved? And none of this would be happening in Ijincho? Possibly. No, this isn't right. Sawa Sensei didn't know Kuana's identity or his objectives. She thought she was just talking through her problems with a sympathetic ex-teacher. Hello? Yo, know who this is, Yagami? Kuana? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you're looking for me. Where are you? What? <laughs> Gotta say, this chair's pretty comfy. Pretty sure I locked up behind me when I left. Listen, I'll only meet you alone. No one else. And don't make me wait long, or I could change my mind. He told me to meet him alone. You can let Mamiya-san go once I confirm he's there. You gonna be alright by yourself? Well, he already knows Mamiya-san's with us. I'm guessing he was watching us from somewhere. And I can't afford to do anything that would piss him off enough to make him disappear. Uh, got it. Well, we'll take care of this end of it. Shouldn't you move your ass? <laughs> Higashi, you already called Sari-san and the gang, right? Yeah, I let them know what's up. They said they'll head over when they're ready. Did Shirosaki-sensei say anything? <laughs> well, she was pretty stunned when I told her who Kuana really is and what he's up to. Sounding a little smug there, Higashi-san. Taking credit for the detective work you didn't even do? Back me up here, Yagami-san. Whatever, man. Kuana got away, and that's all that matters. Still, the task in front of us is finishing Sari-san's case. We have to clear up Ahara's crime once and for all. With Mamiya-san's help, of course. <sighs> Finally. I'm ready to get some answers. Well, we still got time till Shirosaki-sensei gets here. Why don't you take a breather, Yagami-san? Huh? That'd be okay? Sure. I'll call you once everyone's here. Yeah. A break sounds good. By the way, Higashi, has anything unusual gone down in Kamracho lately? Anything involving RK? Yeah, about that. My guys were saying things have been a little too quiet since yesterday. Soma and Akutsu are out in Ijincho, too. When they come back, they're in for a rude awakening. And they can pay for what they did to Kaito Aniki. Make them pay? Aren't your Yakuza days behind you now? That's not the Yakuza in me talking. That's just a problem I'm gonna be the solution for. Uh, isn't that exactly what a Yakuza would say? Fine. Think of it as getting revenge for a brother. Uh... I'm doing the right thing, damn it! Yeah, maybe it's just how you're putting it. Besides, 
What's the matter if I was Yakuza? I've got my own code, and I'm gonna do right by me. Whatever you say. Much as things change, they stay the same. <laughs> of course not. I didn't know you still did field work. I figured if they could pull a fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Mamiya-san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa-sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. So Kawana had you play the victim. And together, you pulled one over on the police and the court. That simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ehara-san at the underground platform. How would the public respond after finding out they'd game the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan. Yeah, cop or not, Ahara is a broken man. Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line? Groping was a fabrication. At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. We'll reveal Ahara and Kiwana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Genda Sensei? Well, previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do, if Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. Then we'll talk to him tomorrow. First, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. Will do. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest. Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that Mamiya chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuwana kill all those people. Aren't you gonna turn her in or something? I would. There's nothing we can do. <sighs> nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine, forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? You wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's help you need, I'll be there. I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless. So why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. <laughs> I figured Mitsuru Kusumoto would be in one of the better hospitals around the health ministry. That narrowed it down to just a few locations. Then I pinpointed the exact one through sheer determination. And that led you to Toto University Hospital. So Mitsuru is still lying in a coma there? Yep. Reiko Kusumoto has been visiting her son every night for the past 13 years, even after she became Vice Minister. If you gentlemen want to meet her in person, that would be your best chance. But Yagami, do you seriously think you can convince Reiko Kusumoto to turn herself in? Well, I'm gonna try at least. She's at the top of the food chain. If it comes out that she committed murder, the whole country's gonna lose it. If they hadn't tried to hide it, nobody else would have needed to pay for it. Sawa sensei Yeah. You're right. And if she confesses to killing Kawhi, public security will run out of reasons to keep defending RK. So in theory, that should free up the police to pursue Soma about Sawa sensei 
totally agree with you there. But Kuwana-san's against that, right? Didn't he say he wouldn't let her turn herself in? Yeah. That's why he's not in the loop on this. So, you're just gonna show up? You do know she's probably surrounded by public security at all times, don't you? Just means we gotta be prepared for that. Like the professional detectives we are. Prepared? How? <laughs> just leave it to us. Yagami-san, I gotta go get ready. Let's meet at Toto University Hospital. Got it. See ya. <laughs> so what do you need from me in this Yagami? You got any old acquaintances in RK? Think you can find out where Soma and Akutsu are? <laughs> you forget who you're talking to? Why wouldn't I be able to cover that? I knew a few ex-Tojo guys who go in and out of RK on the regular. Thanks. But watch your back. If they find out you're spying on them, they won't like it. I'll be ready. Like the professional ex-Yakuza I am. See ya. Man, you were harder to find than I thought, Akatsu. Wow, so it was you pulling sorry John strings. Hell of a sight. Some piece of shit ex-Tojo man thinks he's king of the hill now? Don't make me laugh. You're the worthless pile of shit, Higashi. Props for having the spine to show up here without backup. And after you barely escaped with your life, Yagami. Hold that thought, because this isn't the whole party. Huh? The only guy I really want to fuck up is Soma. But I guess I'll have to settle for you losers tonight. Couldn't just stay dead, huh? Nice work, Sari-san. We'll take it from here, but... Could you ring the gong for us? What? Nothing kicks off a fight better than a beauty ringing a gong! Yeah! Give us something to get the mood going! Okay. Well then. Gentlemen! Do your worst! Get ready! Let's go! Hell yeah! Come Here on! we go! <laughs> <laughs> Talk now. Where's Soma? Where's he hiding? I don't know. He moves around more than I do. Really? Are you really just another one of his pawns? Just gonna cover for him and obey his every word? Soma can tell when someone's lying. He's always been able to. I won't be able to get away with bullshitting him. Friend or foe, if he finds a traitor, he stomps the rat dead. He can sniff out the faintest scent of betrayal. That's why I've always told him the truth. No point trying to BS him. In this business, nothing beats the ability to detect liars. You serious right now? You're buying into some bullshit rumors, dumbass. You just don't fucking get it, man. He can practically see the future. He was the first to bail from the Tojo clan. And usually, you need a shit ton of money to leave a clan if you don't want to be killed. That's what it's like to be a Yakuza. Huh. Remember who you're talking to, asshole. But Soma... He somehow knew there was no future for the Tojo, so he jumped ship. With no money, and not even a word to the bosses. Just up and left. There's no way he could get away with that. That's what I thought. I said the same thing to him when he was leaving. I warned him. They'll fucking erase you! The bastard just laughed. He said the clan was finished. No way could they kill him. Then he had the balls to give me advice. Said I should get out too and not worry about it. 
What did he mean by that? By that point, the Tojo clan didn't have the resources to properly deal with the Vectors. Soma understood that. And sure enough, he left without a word, and nobody ever tried to fuck with him. It's true. Soma was the first guy to slip out. No doubt the dude knew what was up. While the Tojo clan was limping to its grave, Soma went underground and built the arcade network all by himself. And that's how you became his errand boy. What do you expect? I can't control Soma. I'm just the public face of RK. He holds the reins. I've been cool with that ever since I joined. <laughs> At least you're enough of a man to admit what you are. Akutsu, Soma's being used by public security. Did you know that? Public security? Why was Soma looking for Shinya Kawai and Kamurocho? I don't know. All I heard was somebody hired him to do that. Why is he after Kawana? I... uh... How are Soma and public security linked? Give me something. Doesn't it at least ring a bell? I don't know, man. The fuck you mean ring a bell? I don't know shit! Wait. Nah. But maybe... What is it? Doc, is it possible that Soma himself is public security? Soma working in public security? What do you mean? Well, public security trains people to become spies. So they can infiltrate and collect intel. Right wing, left wing, anti-establishment citizens groups, you get the picture. They usually try to find a weak spot in the org, someone they can turn to their side. So yeah, that's one way to do it. No matter how many crime rings they bring down, another always pops up in its place. This way, public security doesn't have to start from scratch. They can just keep tabs on all the free agents. But it's mind-blowing that they'd install their own leader. Sure as hell sounds like collusion to me. Soma? An undercover public security agent? Shit! We gotta move! Cut the fucking chit-chat! Why? He's gotta be fucking listening in on us right now! If he's public security and heard all that... Get your shit together, Akatsu. What does it matter? Don't you get it? There's no way he'd want anyone else to fucking know! <laughs> Stop shooting! Found us. So the two shooters were dressed as policemen? Yes, they're the ones who shot Akutsu. They couldn't have been real officers, though, right? Yeah. I'm guessing Soma gave uniforms to two of his own guys. Regardless of their affiliation, they were there on Soma's orders. Kaido-san's theory is that he's actually a public security agent. Get this talk. In America, they call people who go undercover moles. <laughs> moles, huh? If this really was public security, I can't believe they'd go so far as murder. Oh. Soma probably thinks he's backed into a corner. Word got out he's been a plant since his Tojo days. Not even being the head honcho will save him. He'd be nothing but a rat. And RK's got plenty of ex-Tojo in it who'd want his head for that. I hadn't considered that. Those fake cops tried to take us out, too. They'll silence anyone who gets in the way. Hey, you think your office could post some officers at Gendas? At least for tonight. Sure, I can get that arranged. Shouldn't you guys have protection, too, though? I appreciate the concern. Akaito-san and Higashi are ex-Yakuza. Not exactly a good mix, you know? Yeah, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> you said it. Thanks, but no thanks. Soma's probably gonna head even deeper underground after all this. 
But if we can track him down, we'll get the dirt on public security we need. Then we can do right by Sawa Sensei, and even bring Kawana and Reiko Kusumoto to justice. All right, we get it. Let's walk Saori san back to her office first, though. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Good idea. Don't worry, Saori san. You should be safe from here on. Ah, uh, what gives, Saori? You change up your look and the guys line up to protect you? <laughs> Maybe you should put some effort into it once in a while yourself. Are you telling me this isn't effort? Lose that sensei shit, you idiot. No honorifics for assholes. Uh, in that case, that Yagami asshole is here for you. Talk about its emotion. Right. Well, I do know a thing or two about Soma's Tojo clan days. He swore under the Nikio Consortium, a direct family. The Nikio Consortium was a pretty big deal. Even if they did bite the dust with the main family. Right. Among them, Soma and Akutsu were both looking like officer candidates. Apparently, the Nikio's role in the family was to handle off-the-record dirty work. No matter how much they raked in, the higher-ups took their cut and left a mess. Those two got hung out to dry, basically. Nevertheless, they sucked it up and hoped they'd be the ones on top someday. But, as you know, the Tojo clan got hit hard, disbanding before they ever even got their shot. They devoted years to the family, all to get nothing in return. I'd be willing to buy that for Akutsu. But if Kaito-san is right, Soma was working the Tojo clan from the inside for public security. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK, so he could gather up and monitor all the ex yakuza at once. Okay, now that you mention it, RK has been dipping into the shady side of Kamurocho. They're strong-arming anyone who acts without their blessing first. You want to do shady shit? You need an RK permit these days. Yeah. That's why the Soma's an undercover agent theory makes sense to me. If we find a concrete link between him and public security, then we'll know for sure. Higashi, who might have known Soma back then? Someone with authority who'd know how he joined the Tojo clan. Well, let's see. Would the Nikio president work? President? Not Patriarch? Same shit. His name's Irie, but whatever kind of boss he was then, now he's just another champion district drunk. I have some questions for him. Once I have the link between Soma and public security, it'll all fall into place. I don't know, man. You want to meet him, knock yourself out. He spends his days at a joint called Earth Angel. Yagami! Anaki! What the hell's going on? It's RK. They've got ex-Tojo members running a raid here. Why? Supposedly the out-of-towners running it won't pay RK off. And there's even a chance Soma's here. It's a surprising amount of context. Right. Now let's get in there. Stop! We're just customers! Shut the fuck up, you little shit! Hey! Got a minute? Huh? There's still more of you? I know that face. Dude was famous in the Tojo clan. For being a maniac. There's more like him in here too? Is Soma here with you? Tell me where he is. Enough with your mouth! Let's go, Scott! Really, guys? No telling where Soma or his arcade goons are at. Gotta keep our eyes open. It's too damn dark to see what's around here. Yeah, but there's no way this is a dead end. Should be a way to get the lights on, right? Let's start looking. Yo, guessing this is the door we gotta deal with. Just gotta figure out the passcode. Hey, what are we gonna do about this? We might find clues somewhere else. Let's check out this floor. Hey, 
Got a minute to chat? Please, just leave me alone. Well, I will, don't worry. All I need is the passcode for the door up ahead. Zero five zero eight... Or wait, was it eight zero one zero? Come on, get a grip. Well, I guess I can try both. Either zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, huh? Better not forget. Zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, right? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Huh? Did you put it in right? Should be zero five zero eight. Or eight zero one zero. Zero five. Yeah. Nice. be a way upstairs somewhere around here. I'm gonna go look. You two wait here, okay? Yeah. Go handle business talk. Okay. That kicked my ass. Yagami, how the hell did you get all the way up here with your bare hands? Hey, you hear that? Four of those guys might be hiding around here. And when we find them, we kill them! Yeah, got it! What's your call? You taking them down? Yeah, we can take these guys together. Whoa, 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 hang on. That guy in front of the stairs might call for backup. And if that happens, Soma might slip away. I'm gonna have to go stealth on these guys. Go do your thing. We'll jump in if shit hits the fan. Hell yeah! <laughs> the tatami room's downstairs. Soma might be there. So we gotta stay on our toes. Isn't that Kosuke-kun, right? You never learn, do you? Don't tell me you're here with some poor girl's money again. I'm not! I swear I'm not! You're Kaito from the Matsugani family, right? Oh, look who else is famous. What are you doing here? You join RK too? <laughs> Dumbass. Don't lump me in with scum like you. Are you the one who put this raid together? What about Soma? Is he not coming? <laughs> you just stepped into some shit you're gonna regret. Hey! He's got backup! <sighs> Tons of lowlifes, but no Soma. Coming here sure did a fat lot of good. You got this, Yagami Detective Agency! Please save my life! At least we can say we saved fucking kosuke <laughs> You know that guy? Lucky him. He's about to get his head split like a melon. Hey! Take care of the latecomers. Then we're done here. Ready? Let's go! Yeah. Pretty tough for a bunch of gangbangers. <laughs> Come on, Aniki. Why don't you take the bench for a bit? You're still on the man. Shut the hell up. Whoa. The guy running the game here brought in as many heavy hitters as he could. 
But RK had so many ex-Yakuza, this place never had a chance. And you guys managed to take them all down. Unbelievable. That's not really why we came, though. You sure you didn't see RK's leader, Soma? Anywhere? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't here. I see. So, we did all this work for nothing. The... Uh, you sure you really want to find that guy? If that's the case, I heard some RK members say Soma's giving his orders from Ijincho. Yeah, let's do that. Well, looks like we've got a full house. Shirosaki-sensei asked me to come by. She said they needed some business handled while you were out of town. I find it hard to believe she'd put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not. Either way, I don't mind helping. Basically, we need new evidence. And that might mean something no one's seen or found yet. So your plan is to meet with Ahara and just ask him? I know it's a long shot, but yes. I'd like to come help, but someone has to check Higashi-san's work. Excuse me? If I have to be Hoshino-kun's lackey, I'm fucking out. I'd prefer if you address me as Hoshino-sensei. Mouth on this kid! Sure, but Mafuyu, should you even be here? Won't the prosecution think you're double-crossing them? What do you mean? I am just here to get dirt on the defense. Expect Prosecutor Takano to hear all about it. <laughs> Guess we better watch ourselves. I still have some preparations to make. <laughs> Looks like the gang's all here. Everyone but the star of the show. Now that is next level ass kissing, Hoshino kun. <laughs> a good ass kisser is a good communicator. Welcome back, Yagami san. <laughs> Grab a seat, Tuck. Nice. So you're really gonna stand in court again? Just to give Sari san some support? Ah, I see. Does that mean I don't need to be present for Ahara san's appeal? Huh? How would I know? Isn't that more of a Sari-san question? If Yagami's there, I don't see why you gotta be. <laughs> you're on thin ice, Hoshino-kun. You still gonna have a job if you're redundant. I have been plenty useful. At least, a little. Should a lawyer really have to say that? This guy is kind of a rookie, huh? Ha! <laughs> Man, the gangster just put the lawyer on notice. <laughs> Well, that's all I got. How about you guys? So where's Kawana? Any word on where he's hiding? Yeah, about that. We must have asked everyone in Eugene's show, but we got nothing. RK's out there looking for him too. We seem to think I've still got him under watch. On the flip side, that means they still haven't found him either. Well, yes, although that's not much consolation. You think Kawanasan's still in one piece after the explosion? Alive, yes. Unharmed, I can't say. When I saw him, he was already making plans to disappear. But the real problem is what happens next. Now that he knows Reiko Kusumoto betrayed him, we don't know Kawana's next move. I'd never let that slide if I were in his shoes. Maybe Kawana's thinking the same thing, you know? He spent all that time underground brooding and shit. Maybe he's really gonna stick it to Reiko Kusumoto. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Oshinoku, Higashi. You two met with Ahara's wife? Yeah, but we didn't gain much from it. Turns out Ahara and his old lady don't really keep in touch. After her son took his life four years back, she refused to keep living under the same roof. Only reason she hasn't divorced him is because it's too much of a pain to process. She's been living in that same apartment even when Toshiro-kun was still alive. She let us light some incense on his altar, but she was pretty vacant the whole time. 
Did Ahara's battery charge come up at all? She said she didn't care. She didn't care her husband was out there groping women and killing bullies? Has she even seen Mikushiba's murder footage? According to her, no. Really? That's hard to believe. Well, there's no easy way to put it, but it felt like she'd given up on everything. Made for a pretty depressing trip, I'll tell you that. What's the word on RK coming down to Ijinsha? Everywhere you look, they're strutting around like they own the place. And they know our faces, too. They stare us down, but never get too close. It's fucking annoying. Plus, they're acting like they're here to stay. They've been harassing the joints we have ties with. Harassing how? You know, shit like pretending to be normal customers, and dying dashing or complaining to mess with business. Then another guy will come in and be like, need protection? And suddenly they're charging a fee. That's some Yakuza shit right there. Old shit, too. A Yakuza who pulls out today is out in one shot under the anti-gang laws. And Soma? Is he still around town? Nah, there's nothing on him. Even if he is, he probably went underground by now. And Soma isn't exactly a social butterfly like Akutsu. Finding him is gonna be a pain in the ass. Especially if he has public security's help. Unless it's a life or death situation, I doubt he'll show his face. That about wrap it up? Seems so. As for me, I think I'll head out and see what I can find out about Kawana-san. Same. I just hope he's okay. Tsukumo-san and Sugiura-san do some impressive work. Yeah. You don't hold a candle to them, Hoshino-kun. Black belt in karate, and you never even use it. Well, I'm just more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Anyway, I'm heading back to Kamurocho. Enjoy yourself, Higashi-san. What about you, Doc? Wanna call it a night? Tessa said he'll let us stay if you do. No skin off my back, really. So, what'll it be? If I can really stay the night, I'll take him up on that. Talk! This where those RK guys are holed up? He's Soma with them? Nobody's had eyes on him yet. Just a sec. Tsukumo? I've confirmed the enemy position, Yagamishi. They have our two young hostages surrounded, so a head-on assault would be too dangerous. Naturally, I've already come up with some countermeasures we can run. Would you care to hear my plan? <laughs> you always come through, man. Okay then. Walk us through it. Wow! Look who decided to show up! Too scared to come without all your little bodyguard buddies? Not like you've got room to talk. How many shitheads does it take to watch these girls? I never thought it would end up like this. You believe me, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but we'll have to save the lecture for after all this is over. You'll be free soon. That goes for you too, Kodasan. <laughs> <laughs> You so sure about that? You kidnapped them to get to me? Well, here I am, so let's go. <laughs> we did lure you here. So we can beat your sorry ass to death. Okay, then. <laughs> so what was your plan? Throw all these guys at us as soon as we kick down the door? <laughs> We're smarter than that, you know. Yeah. We knew you'd have some backup! Here comes! 
Let's take out the trash. Yagami. Hands where I can see them. And same for you two. Hey, calm down. I've got one more thing. I'm not a big fan of guns. Huh? Shit! Look there! Face the wrath of the Yokohama 99! The wicked shall be smited and retribution shall be swift! <laughs> ah! Come on. Did you really think one gun was enough to take out a crew like us? If you did, you were wrong. You two sit tight a little longer. But just to warn you, I'm gonna go hard on these guys. You wanna see some asses kicked? Don't blink, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. I want them down before the smoke clears. Yeah. Come on! I'm... so sorry. No. I'm the one who got you into this. Soma? What? Who? Connie! Get back! Huh? Here all by yourself? What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just here to talk. She's on our side now. And she's accepted it. So it's your duty to protect people like that? I protect order, not people. Consider me a necessary evil. Necessary evil? That's right. If I hadn't gone undercover, the Tojo clan's ex-Yakuza would be spread all over by now. If that happened, we never would have been able to track their current activity. That's why I created the RK Network. Right. Kiwana said something like that too. Did I mention how much of a pain in the ass Kuana made this? He negotiated for your lives, using Kuai's body as leverage over us. What? <laughs> Akane! Akane-chan! Uh, why... am I... <laughs> a pink gun? You okay? <laughs> that son of a... Well, hell, that's gotta hurt. But a bruise sure beats the alternative, right? Yeah, okay. That way, if public security is our real enemy here, we'll have the prosecution and the courts on our side. That'll be on me. I'll reveal a truth no one can deny. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's pretty much your specialty. Send that asshole to jail for good. <laughs> You've got this, Yagami-san. Uh, whoa! This is crazy! Why is he so hot? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute ago, she got shot. And now look at her. <laughs> Teenagers. These RK assholes are like bananas. They only come in bunches.
take it they don't want us getting to Kuanasan? Guess they were expecting us. Sure are making a big show of it. What are those people doing? Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Should we call the cops? Kaito-san, we're running out of time. Let's wrap this up quick. Yeah! Can't you see we're in a hurry? Quit stalling and come get some! You four! Freeze! <sighs> Somehow they never show up when you need them. But they're right there when it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Think this bunch is with public security? I'm not sure. Either way, we don't have time to deal with them. Hey! Relax, fellas. I can vouch for these guys. And do your orders include going around belting us with your batons? We're about to have a problem here, aren't we? All four of you, put your hands up and face the car. I said, move! Kirby, cop! There's a cop here and he's creeping on me! <laughs> Those kids aren't even half bad. Let's roll! Hey, stop oh, the car! Stop! Shit! Stop! 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 Looks like everybody's on our side. Except RK and the cops. Kuana-san either. Okay. So give me a number here. How many RK we got? I'd say about a hundred. A hundred? It's a massive warehouse, so they need all the manpower they can get. They seem to have fanned out to search for Kawhi's body. The good news is there's no indication they found it yet. Tsukumo-kun, got any bright ideas for where I should park this thing? I'm afraid it won't matter too much. The enemy already knows you're on route. You'll have a welcoming party no matter where you decide to enter from. <laughs> that works. Just means we get to show up and beat down the front door. guys ready? Hey, anyone else getting some good deja vu from kicking a bunch of asses in a downpour? I'm pretty pumped, actually. It's reminding me I'm alive, you know? Come on, man. Were you that bored back in Kamurocho? <laughs> Let's go! I wish you hadn't. Watch isn't doing their job. What are they so mad about? It's not like they're supposed to be here either. Yeah, they're just ransacking the place. This is all to find Kawhi's body. Well, if there's a bright side in any of this, it looks like they still haven't found it. Or Kuana. That's it. Break time, fellas! Let's kill these fuckers! Come on! God, cause I can go all day. <sighs> Never seen this number. Huh? It's Kuana. I assume you're here. Then all the players have assembled. I mean, you're here too. Where are you? What is all this? Put simply, a trap for Soma using Kawai's body as bait. 
You must have known he'd show up too. So everything from calling Reiko Kusumoto to this, it was all to corner Soma? Yeah. I'm gonna drag him kicking and screaming into the light. He only gets away with his shit because he does it in the shadows, and his friends at public security just watch. If I expose them, Kusumoto-san can lead a happy life. You know she sold you out, right? Look, that doesn't matter. This is the only shot we have at Soma. Alone, I could probably kill him. But there's no way I can take him in alive. If you wanted help, you could have just asked. To deceive your enemies, start with your allies. And besides, if you didn't come, I had a plan B. Listen, I'm in the deepest part of the warehouse. Far down as you can go. And Soma's closing in. And we'll just have to get there first. Oh, man. What kind of plan B could he have when he's got a hundred guys surrounding him? I sure would have liked to see that. Might be some arcade down below, too. Probably right. It from the other side. Hey, what's the plan? Let's see if we can find another way. Hey guys. Oh, you spot a way through? Yeah, let me see if it'll work. You guys keep watch in case anyone's tailing us. Gotcha. Oh. All right, you made it. Now let's hightail it to Kuana. That door looks like it leads ahead. It's locked. Let me see if I can pick it. You're the man, Yagami-san. these guys are there. Tak! Sugiura! Higashi and I'll keep them busy. You guys go on ahead! Counting on both you guys! Nice job clearing the path! Because of that, I found this! Come on board! <laughs> this ought to be good. Clowns think you're doing. Your asses are dead. Another elevator. Might take us straight down to the bottom. Kuwana-san and Soma are probably there too. Yeah, let's go. Do we have in the maze? One appears. The weakest dies first. That fucking hurt! Uh. I'm gonna fucking kick this little wimp's ass! You call me a wimp asshole? Out of my fucking way! Uh. You say I'm a killer? What's your body count up to? They're going down!
Yo. Oh, what the fuck? I can't keep track of how many times this guy has changed sides. Someone's always gonna find a way to redefine it to suit themselves. Yo! Did someone order some sushi? Only the best for you guys. Courtesy of Yagami Detective Agency. So? <laughs> Good shit, man. You are a true gentleman. Huh? Hey, what the fuck? There's avocado on this shit. Where the hell did you get this from? Aniki, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. In fact, that just leaves more for me. Fine. Then I can chew in salmon roll. Hey, save me the tamago. As long as I got my egg, I'm good. Who goes for the egg? I'll fade back into the shadows. Like hell, man. If he's arrested, public security would have his head. They'd charge him with the one murder he didn't commit. Sawa Sensei wouldn't get the justice she deserves. And worse, they'd find a way to silence him. Besides, you don't have any proof that I'm even guilty. Anything they could charge me for would never stick. Just what are you getting at? You said yourself that you spent the last several years taking out bullies all over the country. That's gotta count for something. I never left a single shred of evidence behind. According to the anonymous tip, the common thread between these victims is that they were all, at one time, accused of malicious school bullying. 